Good morning, everybody. She will care. And we are at the gym, and we're going to do a back and biceps day. Yesterday, I took a trip to Walmart, and I got a pull-up bar. So maybe I'll do pull-ups at home today, not here. But I got them because sometimes I run out of time here to do pull-ups. And now I just have a pull-up bar at my house, and I can never... I can never avoid it. Like, either I'll have no reason. If I'm ever laying in bed, just like scrolling on my phone, there's a pull up bar right next to my bed, literally in my closet. So, yeah, that's an exciting development in my life. I'm super duper tired right now. Like, I'm actually extremely tired. Like, it feels horrible. What time is it? It's only like six, though. So, I don't really feel like I should have any reason to be that tired. But we're going to make my pre workout before I literally fall asleep. And the flavor I got today is cotton candy. It's by Legion Athletics. You can use code SheBook for 15% off. All right, let's make this concoction. Okay, you guys, I'm already feeling more hype after drinking this. That's why I feel like pre-workout is, it obviously, caffeine obviously works. There's no question about that. But I also feel like there's some sort of like placebo effect involved. Also, I did not forget my straps today. So we'll be able to do heavy back day instead of going light. We're just gonna stretch a little bit in here, like nothing crazy. Winter arc, more like winter, more like winter arch. All right, you guys, we're on the lat pull down and we are warming up. I already did one little tiny warm up without you guys, so my bad, but I won't do it again. <laughs> Look what I brought today. I didn't forget. I went to Texas and used my gym bag as my carry-on bag, so I couldn't leave these in there. It's just not enough space, so I left them in my whatever, like, storage in my house, and I just forgot them for the past whatever, however long, two weeks. And then, yes, a few days ago, I just saw them, and I was like, I need to put them in my bag, or else I'm going to forget. But now, we have them. I especially need them for this rubber attachment. I hate this attachment for that pull down, but straps is going to make it a little bit easier. So, we're doing 125 pounds, 120 pounds. And I weigh like 160 pounds. So, that's pretty close to my body weight, I would say. All right, let's go sit down. Oh, uh... No, it's like a hard set in my face. I can like feel it heat up. <laughs> it's okay. My arms got tired by the time I went. Ew. On the boomer doom scale, that gets a doom. If you guys have been watching the channel for a long time, you know that bent over rows are literally my favorite back exercise, but I haven't been doing them in lately because I wanted to give some other ones a shot. You know what I mean? But I've decided to no longer give any other ones a shot and go back to bent over rows just because, you know what? I'm a classic woman. I'm a traditional, I'm a woman of tradition and this is my tradition. So I'm gonna continue. All right, let's warm up. Searching around the gym to find a 10 so that we can do what is this 85 pounds kind of like baby weight But now that I have straps, I feel like I'll be able to row more because normally what gives out first is my grip strength So I'm hoping with the straps. I'll be able to do a lot more reps with the 35 on each side Which makes sense I feel like and then if, the, if all goes well, maybe I'll be able to do late, but I don't know, maybe that's getting ahead of myself. Oh, my goodness, okay. We're gonna do three sets of this. By the way, so this is only set number one. <laughs> Honestly, with the straps, it makes it like a million times easier. Throw the weight up 
This feels a little bit weird though. I feel like my wrists are like not working correctly. Time for set number two. We're gonna go with a 25 instead of the 35 just so that I can get some more reps in as opposed to like high weight, low reps. I'm gonna do low rep, weight, high reps with this. Really squeeze my back. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Using straps makes me feel my back muscles use use work so much better. Definitely enjoying these. Definitely enjoying my my straps. <laughs> Okay, and with that, back is over to some bicep exercises. What shall we do? Who knows? We're gonna find out. I think we're gonna start out with probably like some single arm alternating bicep curls, then some hammer curls, and some, I think they're called Zotterman curls, but don't quote me on that. Okay, guys, we got the 35s. I wanna do a little experiment and see if I can do um, eight reps with 35s. I've been on 30s doing the 8 to 12 rep range for a few months. So we're going to see if we can't, we're going to see if we can't get in a clean 8, 35. It's probably going to be a little bit of an ego lift. But if it's too much, I'll obviously move down weight. This is just for science. So first set, 35. So we're just going to do some single arm alternating. Nothing crazy. I'm like nervous. Like it's, it's just a rash decision. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I was I got like six and a half, let's say. Overall, pretty good. <gasps> We're definitely gonna go back to the thirties with the rest of the set, so I need to go put this back. It feels so much lighter than thirty-fives after doing those. I honestly started burning my forearm so bad because because I walked so far with the weights. Last set of regular curls. Six. Okay. Next one we're gonna do. I'm gonna go get an easy bar. I'm gonna do two sets of easy bar curls. Let's go. Always my choices were quite limited for easy bar because you can't always depend on the exact weight that you get. So I grabbed a 40 because I wanted to go a little bit lighter with the easy bar curls because I'm pretty tired from the um, single arm curls. Okay, let's go, set number one. Oh, this might be a little bit too light. I'll see. We're gonna go for 12. Oh my god, that was such a weird feeling. I feel like I felt my biceps pump with blood during that set. And also I randomly got really hungry in the middle of that. All right, last set of easy bar curls and my sister inspired me because she's doing reverse grip curls and I was and I got jealous, so now I'm gonna do them. No, every one I get is broken. I'm like, am I breaking it by doing this? <laughs> she pulled breaks, Jim. <sighs> oh god. <sighs> One more. <sighs> ow, ow, ow. All the blood rushing all the way. Ooh. Oh my god. You know that is good when you do some like random sh shit with your arms right after. <sighs> oh my god. Ah. Uh, so you basically just like this, and you kind of just do the same thing, but backwards, whoop. This. Oh. 
Oh, Jesus. Oh, dude, my biceps are so done. They don't want to do anything anymore. It really burns, like, this whole region all the way up. Oh, my God. Two more. Oh, shit. Okay. We're done. It's over. It's over. It's all over. I'm gonna meet you guys in the pump room. I just gotta put this back. All right, you guys. Pump time. I like filming the pump here better than over there when I do back and biceps pumps. Personal preference. Thanks for watching. See you for next week's video.